I've moved into the, the, the putter laboratory and the guru with putting is uh, Jeff Thomas, PGA professional himself. But this is your forte, Jeff. Tell it us is. all about this uh, area you've got here. All right, so what we use the Pink Putting Lab for is for all of our tour fittings, our VIP fittings, our testing that we use for our new product line. Uh, so a little bit about the table. The table is six and a half feet wide. It's 45 feet, 10 inches long. It sits on its own foundation. So the foundation is about five feet deep. It's perfectly level within one one thousandth of an inch from left to right. One one thousandth. One one thousandth. <laughs> and front to back. So it's perfectly level. The table itself is about 70 tons. So it's about five pieces of solid granite. Really? And then we polish it down to, to get it to that perfectly level surface. <laughs> so you've got a laser here. So if someone comes in here, let's say a Lee Westwood, mm -hmm. okay, a Lee Westwood or a Bubba, they come in here. Where do you start? Do you, do you put the ball down on, on this spot, or yep. what, what, tell me, tell me what? what so what this you... this spot here, the laser is just right in the middle. Let me of... get a putter. It's right oh. in the middle of the the table. So as you can see, we have a number of cameras that we can uh, look at the player stroke. So we have the the ground level, which will show lie angle the down the line, and then we have a right-handed and left-handed camera. So we'll start here, we'll use our iPing 2.0, which is uh, our proprietary putting app that we've developed, and it's all just based off consistency. So we'll look at, um, you know, how much closing angle they have. To loft. Get them, correct, yeah, we'll look at the loft, the lie, how they're aiming it, um, their tempo, just to match up with the head weight. So again, it's all based off consistency. So we're just fitting to the kind of the natural tendencies that the player has. So it's not a problem for you to, to, to someone to come in here and move that shaft to flatten it? Yep. Or to get it more bolt upright? Correct. Or And then we could adjust the loft and lie too. So based off the player's shaft lean, if their hands are back or their hands are forward, then we can adjust that loft to get that roll, nice roll off the face. We can put it right into here, uh, locks in. Um, check the loft and lie, so if you came in with your gamer that we just need mm -hmm. to adjust, or uh, we have a putter for you that we need to adjust. Just put it right in the, the loft fly machine. It'll tell us you know, you're at standard and, and three degrees, so if we need to make an adjustment based off your fitting. Just bend it accordingly. Yeah. Yep. And make everyone putt like gurus, like freak shows, like hole every putt you can see, like do the Jimenez, you know, the what the... For a ping player, Who's the biggest pain? Like, who, who's finicky? Now, can you can tell me. I won't, we won't tell you. <laughs> uh, so all of our staff is, are, is very, very knowledgeable about their game. So uh, they, yeah, well, you. They, yeah, they want they want to know everything they that they that's going on in their putting stroke. So we'll we'll put them through the whole process, and if they have questions, you know, I'm I'm happy to tell them, but. If they don't want to know anything about their stroke and they're putting good, then I can kind of just hide that well, information. Well, if they're putting so. good, man, you, 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 exactly. you, you yeah. just, you've cracked it, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is, you know, what Ping are famous for is the old, uh, the putting. So yeah. have, you, have you used our iPing app before? No. Our putting app? So let me pull this up. So I'll, uh, you want to hit a couple putts? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pull this up here. What, uh, what length of putter do you use? I use the Yip Stick. Okay. <laughs> but I'm, I, I can use the short one as okay, well. Okay, gotcha. All right. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to clip this on your putter right below the grip there. And so all we're going to do is just take five putts there to that first disc, just acting like that's five the putts. hole. So, yeah, in terms of speed and it's a, a 10 foot Does putt. it come up on that television? It does, yep. Yeah. Right on this dot. Right on the dot to that first target there. One. One under. Two under. Three under, I think I could win this. I think I could win this. How's my stroke looking? It looks good. Does it? What's that little delayed sound? So that's just uh, registering the putt. So it makes that sound. That's what the 1A used to make, the sound. Right. And then this putt will act like the ball's going in the hole, as you can see there. So let's take a look. 
So like I said, I-ping is just all based off consistency. Right. So this number over here, that 1.7, that's your consistency score, which is on the same scale as a handicap. So everything in green you would see is very consistent. Right. Yellow would be moderate, red would be inconsistent. Right. So no red, which is always a good thing. So what we're doing is we're really measuring the forces that you apply to the putter. So like I said, there's no right or wrong numbers here. So this number here, your closing angle, so that 4.7, that's just measuring your rotation from the start of the downswing back to impact. Right. So it's very important to match up a putter to your natural tendencies. So for you, you do have a little bit of face rotation. So something with a little bit of toe hang is going to match up nicely with the amount of rotation that you right, have. Okay. So it's just going to make you a little bit more consistent. We don't want you fighting that stroke, that, that putter. So, and then we can also go off missed tendency. So if you have a missed tendency, say a little bit more off to the right, something a little bit more face balance is going to be a good option. If it's more off to the left, something with a little bit of toe hang is going to be a good option. So something with a little bit of toe hang is always going to deliver that club face a little bit more open than something more face balanced. So we can look at the, the three categories that we fit for, for so straight, slight, and, and strong arc putters. Your impact angle, so what this plus 0 0.5 is, that's just a relative measurement from where you are at setup compared to where you are at impact. So everyone will aim a little bit different. As long as it's consistent and repeatable, that's what we're really trying to focus on. So really what that means for you is that you're a half degree open relative to your starting point. Am I? So you're a little bit of a left aimer, but 0.5 is, is pretty minimal. So you know, if that were inconsistent, we could try different alignment features or head shapes just to see which one you aim most consistently. Tempo-wise, that 2.1, that's just a time ratio from your backswing to your forward swing. So 1.8 to 2.0 in I-ping is going to be more of an average tempo. 2.1 just means you have a slightly slower tempo. So that's what we use to help fit for the head weight. So we really want to match up a head weight just to the natural cadence of your stroke. So with that being said, you having a little bit of a slower tempo, something a little heavier is just going to be more stable for you throughout your stroke. So we could try different head weights based off of that tempo. At lie angle, so our standard lie angle will be 20 degrees. So we measure from vertical, so this angle here, yeah. um, or 70 degrees, depending on how you're measuring it. So it's, it's the same. So you are showing a little bit flatter. So you can see here on the screen that that's- My whole five in a row, for yeah, heaven's sake. It's good. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So that you can see that that toe is just up in the air, so we potentially yeah. need to go a little bit flatter for you. And then that shaftling number of negative 2.2, that would just be measuring this plane. So that's what we use to help fit for the loft. Yeah. So you do have a little bit of forward shaftling, so we just have to add a little bit of loft to your putter. We're looking to get your dynamic loft around three degrees, which is a combination of the shaftling and the loft of your putter. So we'll run through I-ping, you know, look at your stroke metrics, see what we can do to help you become more consistent look at uh, your stroke on camera, and then we have Quintic here, which looks at our, the ball data, making sure you get the correct launch angle and side spin and forward back spin and that skid number that we're looking for. <clears throat> you understood me, Matt. <laughs> You're a genius. The guru. <laughs>